Let's do it. Okay, being a grown man with a family and responsibility, you got to know how to kick back, have a good laugh, have some fun, and let out the inner kid. So let me introduce y'all to my new favorite drone. I have not given it a name yet, but man, this thing is so much fun. It's actually for kids ages 14 plus. <laughs> so I'm on the plus side because this thing is awesome. Look, there's not a whole lot to the unboxing experience. You just got this plastic right here. Then they give you a little screwdriver because you got to put your own batteries in the back. It's, it calls for three AAA batteries. Then you get four extra props and I think, yeah, two extra screws. So let's just put that off to the side. We'll put the box down because we don't need any more. It is officially trash since I'm doing this review. Uh, we'll put this to the side as some coupons or something like that. You got some instructions. I already read through those. But wait a minute, I do need that box. Hold on. <laughs> I gotta get the box because I gotta tell y'all what it does. Okay, so it does altitude hold. Check. One key return. Check. Emergency stop. Check. Headless mode, check. Three speed switches, it does have three speeds. Slow, which is plenty, medium, and then fast, which is freaky fast for a drone this small. It's just freaky fast. And then you got a 360 degree flip in all four directions, by the way. And then you got one key takeoff and land. So here's the thing, this little thing, it's super light. You shouldn't really be flying it outdoors because it's so tiny and it'll require so much power to kind of navigate through all that wind. But indoors, this thing flies almost flawlessly. And it's got this cage around all of the uh, propeller, so you're not gonna hurt anything. And that's why it can be for little kids too, because um, you know, you're really not gonna hurt anything. If it hits somebody in the face, or something like that uh, the worst that's gonna happen to them is probably nothing the worst that's gonna happen to the drone is it falls down just like that and it gets back up and it, it keeps on taking a lick in I've crashed this thing in the house like I don't know probably 10 15 times already <laughs> it just keeps getting back up ready for another fight uh, but it's super fun to play with you get about seven you get about six or seven minutes worth of flying time uh, once you read the instructions and make sure you read the instructions uh, to get this thing paired up and calibrated and stuff that's when it becomes a really easily used drone so you got an led right here that's going to be flashing then you got a very very tiny little on off switch the battery is remaining in there you're not going to be able to take it out but it does come with its own proprietary charger and it has a usb on the other end and there's a little uh, red led in there uh, I don't know how long it takes to charge, maybe an hour or so, maybe two, uh, probably an hour. And then uh, it turns red while it's charging, then it just completely turns off when it's done. But you got about six to seven minutes worth of flying time. Let's go ahead and see this thing in action, man. Y'all gotta see this, man, it's so cool. Now, I don't know about flying this thing right in front of the camera, but this is what we're gonna do. So we toggle up and then down to get it synced. And then we have to calibrate it. We take both of the uh, controllers here and let them go and then it'll stop flashing. Then we take them here and then it should stop flashing again and now it's calibrated. You got one key return right here and the instructions will tell you all of this stuff. One key return right here. If you press down on the, uh, if you press down on the toggle, then you're gonna uh, activate your speeds, either one, two or three. And then you got your one key return in headless mode. And then you've got your trim left and right, your trim back and forth. And if you press here, if you press down and then go in any direction, it's gonna do a 360 degree flip in that direction. So let's go ahead and get this thing up in the air. Let's take off. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so that happened. Take two. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, so you gotta get it. Oh my God. <laughs> Shit. It's like a gigantic mosquito in your house. And. Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go that way. <laughs> Let's go toward the camera. Oh, God. So it's like a little, it's like a gigantic mosquito in the house. And there it goes again. Okay, take three. <laughs> okay, here, whoa. Okay, I'm trying to get it, I'm trying to get it trimmed up. Okay, okay, let's go that way. There we go, there we go. We have our altitude hold now. And then, wait, 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 dog, no, wait, wait, wait. So that's the altitude hold. And once you get it trimmed up just right, which I think I've almost got it. Let's come back a little bit. Uh... <laughs> All right, now he wants to act right. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> this thing is super cool, man. Tell you what, let's, let's try this. 
Oh, did you see that? Did you see that flip? Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> let me do a let me do a front flip. <laughs> oh man, that is so cool. Oh, snap. Okay, I'll tell y'all what. Let me get this thing over here. Okay. <laughs> let me do this. <laughs> I love this drone. Let's go see if we can get to some real trouble with this thing. Dog to the fly! 